Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Fairfield Ward. I'm Lauren Lopes. And I'm Tim Jones. And, and this, this is Ward, Ward TV. TV. Happy New Year, Fairfield Ward. And what's a better way to start the new year than by checking in with Radic for the first weather report card? Thank you, Lauren and Tim. So uh, on this first uh, segment of the weather report card, we have uh, Kelton and Ingman and Charlie Bartlett right here. They're juniors. And now, what do you guys think about this week's weather? Uh, if I were to give it a grade, I appreciate the effort with the cold, but not enough snow. So mm, a soft B. Yeah, I'm really I'm disappointed with the accumulation we have, like snow wise. But, you know, I'll still give it a B plus. All right, so yeah, that, I mean, it's pretty cold out there, so no wonder, but uh, from social media we have a, it was so cold Starbucks was serving coffee on a stick. All right then, well, and then it was two degrees earlier this week, so. All right, so here, you can do uh, today's forecast. Let's turn around here and uh, let's go. Um, today there will be flurries with no snow accumulation and it will be very cold with a high of 29 degrees and a low of 18 degrees. All right, wow, that's cool. Is that good enough for you or not? Yeah. All right. All right. So, thank you for joining me th this morning. And uh, yeah. And uh, on the next weather report card, you could email us at uh, wartv at gmail .com and uh, we'll send it back to you. Now, here's Stephanie with your Mustang Minute. Winter sports are upon us, and our teams are off to a strong start. Girls basketball rolled over Ludlow by a score of 57 to 34, improving their record to 8 and 0. They're currently ranked number five in the state. This past Saturday, our wrestling team hosted an invitational featuring schools from as far as New Hampshire. Not only did Warren end up winning the entire thing, but Charlie Kane was featured in the Connecticut Post as Male Athlete of the Week. We asked a few of the wrestlers about, their, about the invitational and their expectations for the season. Check it out. I'm Jack Price. I'm a junior and I wrestle in the 120 pound weight class. I knew it came down to me, but I always knew that my team had my back and that they would support me no matter what happened. Uh, my name's Dan Ebert. I am a senior this year and my weight class is 145. Personally, I had a real recent win at the Ward Invitational. That was my second time winning the tournament. It was good to be on top of the podium again. Um, I had a real, really good match in the finals against a tough kid, so I was happy to beat him. My name's Charlie Kane. I am a junior. I am at 138 for the weight class. For the rest of the season, we want to stay up high in the state rankings, try and get to number one again. And we really want to beat Danbury and FCX. When I beat them, it felt exciting. And it really gave me the confidence to think that I can win New England's once I get there, because I beat the guy who won it last year. Today, take some time to thank the Ward Support staff for their hard work in support of your education. Next up, a brain workout with these questions of the week. You're in a race. You pass second. Which place are you in? First. first. You pass second. That's so you're in second place. You never pass the first place. Yeah. How many years did Ben Franklin serve as a president? One or two? Um, one. Okay. Does Britain have a 4th of July? No. Only America because it's yes, and a 5th of July and a 6th of July. There are 15 puppies. Yep. All but 8 die. How many are left? 7. No. 7. An airplane crashes on the border of Florida and Georgia. Where do they bury the survivors? Georgia. I'm going to say Georgia. All right. Hi, Lauren. What's your New Year's resolution? New Year, new co-anchor. Lauren, 2015 has changed you. Hey, you asked, but don't worry, Tim. One thing that I'll never change is my profound love for our weatherman. He's fresh. He's lean. And he's sporting a new do. Here's Radic. All right, I feel the love, Lauren. <laughs> All right, what I also feel is a lot of cold air here. And uh, it's been very cold for the past week, and it will stay like that. But we'll have a lot of sunshine. Don't get fooled by it, though, here in the Northeast, New York, Boston. We may have some blowing snow in any accumulation we get over the la next couple of days. And so let's move over to your weekend forecast. As you heard about for today, we'll see some light snow showers and flurries. Not a lot of accumulation, 29. 
And then uh, 24 for uh, Saturday, that's pretty cold, with lots of sunshine, those overnight lows in the teens. And then for your Sunday, finally the freezing mark with partly cloudy skies. Have a great day, everybody, and uh, see you next week. That's all the time we've got. Have a great weekend, Fairfield Ward. Stay warm and enjoy the snow. I'm Lauren Lopes. And I'm Tim Jones. And, and you're, you're not. not.